Welcome to Excellence in Excel. And in this video, I will discuss and answer the question, why do we use zero in the VLOOKUP in Excel? So you might have seen that in Excel, you have to put some options in and you have to put in a value. And let me explain exactly why you have to do that, because this is a difference. There's a range lookup, and in a range lookup, you can put in a number one, or number zero. Number one stands for true and number zero stands for false. But to do that, let me show you exactly how. The first thing what we're going to do is to create our VLOOKUP. So what we do is we type in here VLOOKUP and what we want is we want to get the test score here. We want to see that if you hit 75, Allison should be graded a letter B. And if you are 59, Frank will get a grade of letter D. So we just use here the VLOOKUP, open parentheses, and let's start with that right away. So I click here on the formula builder, you get all the suggestions here, and then you just follow up, uh, follow the questions here. Number one, what's the VLOOKUP value? 75. Number two, what is the table array? You can see this is our table array here, we get all the values. Number three, where can we find the answer within the table array? So if 75 we put in here, we want to extract the letter B, the grade. So this is, means this is the first column, and this is the second column, so column number 2. And finally, is this range lookup, yes or no? In our case, we're working with range lookup here, because if you look here, letter B, this is the grade, is applicable only from score 75 up to 99. And starting from 100, there's a new bracket. So, so we say here number one for true. So once you do that, you can see this result is letter B, so that's correct, done, and close. So this works. And if you drag this, you see that we have some issues here. Reason why, very simple. We need to solve, uh, we need to lock the cells into place. So the, our table array is moving down, as you can see here. It goes down one by one. So we're going to lock them into place, F4, F4, enter, and then we click on this and there you are. So all right, so we have these. So now what we wanna do is we wanna get this and we wanna get the recommendations here. And here in this case, we're working with letters. So there's no more range possible. And this is the reason why we're going to use zero. If you want an exact match here, and later on, if I would change something to a letter E, which doesn't exist in their list, you see that there's no value coming out. Let me show you. So we're going to do another VLOOKUP. And in here, we just also open the formula builder and what we want to search for, a great letter. What is our table array? In this case, it's the table array below here. And the column index number is the number two. Second column. And range lookup zero for false. As you can see here, done, you get this. There you are. So this works. And if we, we have to freeze them, of course, before we get an error as well, enter. And if we go here down, you can see it starts to, I'm not sure exactly. All right. Of course, the formula builder is open. So that's very important. Make sure you close the formula builder because it will interfere with dragging your formulas. So double click and there you are. So now you can see this works. And this is all, like, and this is all perfect. But because this is an exact, because of the zero, if you put in here letter E, then it says, sorry, no value available. So this is very good if you want to control specific values. So if someone hit a specific value, then you can show an error here. But what will happen? Would this work? Would letters work here with, that it can understand that this is also filled? Let's see. Because these are not numbers, so can't say yet. And there you are. So you can see here now, the letter E is being recognized as being between letter below letter F, meaning that it's filled. So this one is rejected. Yeah, let's see what happens then. We have an E, and if we have one F, you get a rejected here. 
and this is really nice because if you change this and right now here we have some of these formulas so I'll just double click on these to make these all good yes and if you change here to something else let's say this is 25 and this is 35 and this is 50 then you can see everything else is starting to change along as well because these are all now connected and this is really how you use the VLOOKUP function and a clear explanation to compare the range lookup which we had here and the one with the zero which means an exact match in your VLOOKUP so no range but an exact match on the value very interesting and if you have any questions regarding to this more let me know post them in the comments and I'll make a new video regarding to that to explain it even more in depth however if you enjoy these videos check out my free surprise it is a wonderful Excel course you can uh, you sign up is for free and you will learn more and more deeper about all topics in Excel.